I keep on coming to you to give me some money and then or you just come in and say uh, here you go have a little bit of money have a little bit of money have a little bit of money it just means that I, my brain is going to be close to learn how to make money myself let's say for example there are African leaders uh, seated in the Congress and they're just kind of like um, asking you to give some suggestion of um, some of the things that you think can be done to kind of like to improve things in Africa. So for me, I have about five things I want to talk about that I will kind of like suggest to um, our leaders in Africa. So one of the first things that I will talk about is data because this actually relates to my day job. I'm a data analyst. So, and you know, for example, let me give you a very good typical example, Nigeria. So Nigeria, my home country, um, so there is this general thing about the population of Nigeria, 200 million or 210 million or whatever, but I'm not really sure. I know Nigeria is the most populated African, um, well, black countries in the world, but I don't think our population is up to that. So because, you know, we haven't actually done any proper sensor. You know, we really need to do a proper sensor. So I would suggest that we have proper data collection, you know, databases where, for example, we have that real data of our population so that when we know our population, you know, what you don't measure, you won't really be able to improve. So we know our population. And then, for example, there is thing about, um, like, well, for example, I live in the UK, so, you know, they have um, the specific figures of uh, the number of people that are jobless. So the number of people that don't have a job. And one of the ways they do this is that, you know, they have that kind of like job seeker allowance. It's kind of like social system that they give people that are, that don't have jobs. So they give them that kind of allowance. You know, from that, you can actually really know the number of people that are jobless that don't have job. So, you know, there are a lot of other data as well, maybe from data in um, healthcare data, you know, all sort of data that can actually be collected in terms of having proper database and having the numbers. That number, the number data analysis is really very crucial and it's one of the things that the Western country have really been able to leverage to be able to improve a lot of things. The second thing really that we talk about is uh, visa. You know, as Africans, you know, all African countries should be able to link together in terms of like people moving from various countries for example if i'm in nigeria and i want to go to like um say i want to go to uh, say maybe burundi or something like that so you know if i want to travel to burundi i should be able to just go without really you know many visit just get my back and off i go and you don't get me wrong i mean the um kind of like immigration point is still going to be there people definitely you're entering a new country you need to pass through immigration point and uh, and custom but when it comes to like the all these hazards of applying for visa i don't really think it really makes it i think africans i think should really be able to travel within africa without needing any kind of like visa another thing really that is really very important is linking africa together in terms of like infrastructure so for example um you know infrastructure are needed in various uh, aspects anyway so but the main one i want to talk about is to be able to um, say for example from Nigeria, uh, from Lagos, to be able to get on the train and just go to Benin Republic, you know, or get on the train and just go to uh, Cameroon, the neighboring country. And then even when all various countries are able to be linked together, I think it will actually boost the economy of, um, of Africa as well for people to be able to easily travel within Africa. You know, it doesn't really have to be all over um, um all about uh you know flight so i mean you know that kind of like infrastructure linking um africa together especially like uh, kind of like fast um uh, speed um train another crucial point for me is um same currency you know same currency i'm not really 100 percent sure about this whether it's really a good idea or not but i think maybe it's a good idea to have same currency it doesn't really have to be that they just started but i mean they can just like you know set up a committee or tax force or whatever to have a a, a kind of like um 
um, some work done, some research done, and look at the potential to have same currency. Maybe if we all have the same currency all over Africa, maybe it's actually going to be a good idea. So it's something to actually uh, explore. Another one is uh, universal language. See, language is the one that I know is a, going to be a little bit controversial because uh, a lot of people are attached to their language, um, their mother tongue. See, I'm not saying that I get rid of the mother tongue um, of whatever you have, maybe your Yoruba or your Hakan tribe or whatever, Swahili. So I'm not saying get rid of that. So what I'm actually saying is this. So, for example, I'm a Yoruba man. I speak Yoruba, fluent Yoruba from in Nigeria and I speak English my English isn't really that great but I try to speak English so to so use it as communication where I am here in the UK and some other uh, people that speak English that I need to communicate with uh, well, and then for school as well so but it doesn't really it's not not really going to do me any harm if I have to learn another language like maybe a Swahili I don't I don't know it, it can be Swahili it can be any language but maybe Swahili is the one that I've actually had a lot of people talk about before so if all Africans if we can if they can start teaching uh, children kids in 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 school um, you know a Swahili or whatever language that we choose to just have one language so you have your mother's tongue and then you then have your, your mother's tongue and then you then have uh, that general language that is for the whole of africa whereby it's going to really be good so if i'm going to um if i'm going to whatever um you know town or city in uh, in the i don't know in rwanda or wherever i can just speak or in Kenya, i can just speak that particular language that everybody really understand so that i think that will really be good as well for uh, for uh, the economy of of, um, of africa so another point really is foreign aid i don't really see why african we see getting all this foreign aid from you know from uh, the west from europe america china and all of that don't get me wrong you know all this foreign aid the problem i have with this foreign aid is that most of this foreign aid they end up in the wrong uh, pocket so because they don't really they don't use them the way they're supposed to be used and also there's something really uh, psychological about the foreign aid as well so because if you are continue uh, let's say for example you are i have a little bit of money than you well, you have a little bit more money than me and then i keep on coming to you to give me some money and then all you just come in and say uh, here you go have a little bit of money have a little bit of money have a little bit of money it just means that I, my brain is going to be close to learn how to make money myself so instead of me just always coming to you to ask you for money then or you just come in and giving me money all the time i think it's, it's actually better for me to not be collecting money from you for me to actually put my uh, my um, kind of like my energy to a way to be able to generate that money because if you are giving me money then I should be looking for well hey I think I think this is the phrase that they talk about like um, you know instead of uh, giving somebody fish teach them how to fish so but maybe not really 100% applicable here in this case but I'm just talking about the, the, the situation whereby when you go all out to actually look for a way to make money yourself then to just stop depending on somebody else to uh to kind of like a, uh to be giving you uh money almost like spoon spoon feeding you so yeah i think that is really and another point that one really want to see the race that's really very important is the point about um what's that point now so it's the point about manufacturing you know we do have that problem in africa that you know majority of our resources we just send them out as raw as they are so imagine how much job that will be created if we have a lot of those raw materials if they have part of the process of using them to produce products if part of the process is being done in africa so this is one of the, uh, the, the very good um, example of this is when uh, the Ghanaian president actually was talking about was talking to the swiss president and saying that oh we don't want to be exporting our raw cocoa to you again we want to be processing them in africa that's a good a very good example a very good point so because you know a, a lot of these material these resources that we do export abroad we can actually 
encourage those those countries that are buying them from us to actually develop to put uh, in some factory or uh, some whatever um, places uh, back in Africa where those material raw material they can actually use them to produce something in Africa even though they can be exporting in Babo jobs will be created why those materials um, are being um, you know why do those products have been produced in Africa for you what are the points what are the things that you think that you will actually like to advise you know African leaders to be able to get um, things that you think that they should be doing really to be able to help Africa move forward for her to actually join those for them to stop calling us poor and just you know and for us to just join those uh, great uh, nations in the world we are great anyway we are great Africa is great and uh, yeah thanks for watching anyway and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already on this channel I do educative and informative African content and sometimes I share some of my live experience living in the UK please do consider subscribing and click on the like button if you like the video thanks for watching and god bless